With us is the former MTV presenter Christiana Backer, who converted to Islam 16 years ago, and also by the columnist and author Yasmin Alibi Brown, who's frequently written about race and religion in Britain. Ladies, welcome. Good to have you Hello. here. Christiana, first of all, you, were, you had this glamorous job and a lifestyle that would have been envied by many, many people. What was wrong with it? What, wasn't, what was lacking? In one word, God. <laughs> Inner fulfillment. You know, I had this lifestyle uh, which was great fun interviewing rock stars for a living. <laughs> but deep down, I was not fulfilled. I was not truly satisfied. And I've found that since I've embarked on my spiritual path. Mm. And Yasmin, why do you think, I mean, this research is quite interesting, isn't it? The increasing number of um, Britons converting to Islam. Uh, why do you think? Well, I think some are doing it for this reason, which I totally respect. Mm. And I'd never used to pray until actually the Salman Rushdie affair. I found my faith then, and mm. my mother thought God had spoken to me. You know, so there are moments when we all need that. But I think this, it's, a it's a complicated story. I worry about some of the conversions. I worry about the reasons why women are, in particular are opting for that. And the very rigid form of Islam that they're being sold. What do you mean you worry about the reasons that they're... Well, sometimes I think it's an escape. In fact, a lot of women have told me this. It's, it's an escape from the uh, kind of disorderly free world in which they're now, we are now living. It's, it's terribly I'm, difficult. I'm not sure I would call it an escape. It's an alternative. You know, it's a, it's a value system where <coughs> women actually are respected for their achievements and not it, uh, solely for their looks. You see, me from the entertainment business, it was all about if you've got it, flaunt it. Nowadays, I don't have to do that anymore. I'm respected for what I do, you know, for my mind and for my achievements, not for but my looks. I find women, that refreshing. But a lot of the women who, who email me, for example, say, it's all about rules. They ask me things like, am I allowed to laugh out loud in a public space? Can I clap after a show? And it's like they want the certainties of a rule book. And that's not the Islam I know. Islam is actually a relationship between you and God. Yes. You know, for me, it was the rules that made me worry whether I can take it on. <laughs> you know, because I was always a free spirit. But, in fact, now that the rules come from above, it's, it was a slow process, submitting slowly. I didn't do all the rules overnight, but, you know, you, you submit uh, slowly, slowly. But you, surely yes. you must miss some of the freedoms and the luxuries, the, the privileges of your old life. You know what? I feel actually liberated that I don't need crutches. I don't need alcohol to be happy. I don't need drugs. I don't need anything. I don't need to follow fashions or trends. I follow the one. I find it liberating. But, but you know, you people, so there will be Muslims looking at you now yes. and saying, she's not a Muslim. Look, she's got makeup on, she's not covered her hair. Like, they always tell me, I'm not a Muslim. There are all these policing uh, people out there who define us. But maybe you know it what? needs more people like Christiana and you, yeah. Yasmin, to, to <laughs> say that there's much more to Islam than, than the rule book. And you can, you yes. can, there's a great deal of flexibility and latitude. And that's what it. I would yes. like. But with a lot of the converts, I feel also they're being targeted, they're being processed. And sometimes I really worry that they're kind of entering. It is, in some cases, like a cult. And I worry about that. I well, really we need do. to give them the right books to read, <laughs> something a little bit more enlightened and an intellectual yeah. approach, and perhaps an uh, approach from the heart rather than just rules and regulations. That's certainly not what attracted me. It was um, the nourishment of the soul, actually, coming closer to God, purifying myself. And I realized it's not an academic exercise. I can keep reading about the beauty, but if I want to feel it and I want to come closer mm. to God, there's only one way. Get down on the prayer mat, start fasting, start practicing. But you've, as you say, been attracted almost by, by, by some of the rules and, and, and the structure, perhaps. Uh, but, isn't, but isn't that, in a sense, that's true of many conversions, not just to Islam, but, say, yeah. to Catholicism, that's what attracts people is... It's is the values. The, the values the and the inner... You know, if you pray five times a day, the connection that you build with God, you know, it's a close connection. So it was a, it's a set of ethical and spiritual values that help you trans transform yourself and the world around you to serve the good. Uh, you see, that's I think what it Islam has only three or four absolute essential pillars. And you should be defining your faith for yourself. And I don't like... I mean, I had a man email me today saying, I've just converted, white man. I can now chastise my wife. Will the law interfere? Now, look, this is not a good reason. 
to go and join a faith which it's men appalling. are writing to me saying <laughs> only Muslim men can be real men because they can be domineering and you know all these other factors need to be considered. But is that because Islam has been misinterpreted? Yes. No there is some yes. Islam as this practice now which is really of that kind. Wahhabi but Islam is one of my most big terrors I have to say. It is spreading. It's not the Islam I grew up with. My it's not the Islam is, I've converted yes, to. Yes, but they know. are very strong in some pockets. Mm. And I think quite a lot of women are in those, those pockets. And that's what my worry is, not anything else. The spirituality, I completely agree with you. Uh, but there is a kind of um, mission, if you like. And I find that We need worry. to show that there's an alternative. There's I think we did this evening. <laughs> I think we did. Well, <laughs> enchanting discussion from, from both of you. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us. Yasmin Alibi-Brown and Christiana Baca. Thank you very much. Thank you.